this question is on machine input output see there is some uh, operation that is done on the numbers to arrive at the numbers in each step so let us look at the logic that has been used here now what is done here let us look at the first step see you have 13 east uh, 52 lamp upper 82 poor angle 41 car 61 32 as your input okay so if you look at the words that are there first let us look at the words and see what is the logic that they are following following i have a word which starts with e a word which starts with l a word which starts with u a word which starts with p a and c now in the first step what has come this a they have brought this a to the leftmost place then in the next step what is coming after this a next c is coming to the leftmost place then E is coming to the leftmost place, then L, then U, and then P. See what they are doing is if you see here A, E, U, these are vowels. See out of these words that you have, okay, I have just written the starting letter of each word. Out of these words you have, first they are taking out the word which has a vowel and which will come first in the alphabetical order. So that will be the word which starts with A. After that, they are taking out the next word which starts with a consonant which will come first in the alphabetical order. So, actually what are the vowels here and what are the consonants here? The words that starts with A, E and U, right? These are the words which start with vowels and the words that start with consonants are here C, L and P. So, uh, what have they done here? First, the word that starts with A or the vowel, the word that starts with the vowel which will come first in the alphabetical order is written, taken to the left. In the next step, the word that starts with C, that is the consonant that will come first in the alphabetical order, that is taken, right? Then you have E. So the next word that starts with the vowel in the alphabetical order, that is coming here. Then the next word that starts with the consonant that will come in the alphabetical order. So like this, they are keeping on alternating and writing the words. Okay, this is how the words have come so con vowel consonant vowel consonant vowel and in the alphabetical order alternately they are arranging so that is the pattern that is used for the words now coming to the numbers that is given here what they are doing is that they are actually arranging the uh, numbers in the ascending order see what are the numbers that you have let us take the numbers you have 13 then you have 52 82 41 61 and 32 these are the numbers that you have so if you arrange these numbers in the ascending order what will you get you'll have actually 13 32 then you have 41 52 61 82 so in the first step what they are doing is they are taking the smallest number that is 13 okay and to this 13 they are doing a small operation what they are doing is see 13 means what is the first digit it is 1 so they are doing 1 plus 1 that is equal to 2 this is 3. So, the units digit 3 square that is equal to 9. So, 29 and they are writing it as 29. In the next step, what they are doing is they are taking this number 32. Okay, that, that is the next number that will come in the ascending order in the list. So, they are again taking this 32. What is the first digit? First digit is 3. So, 3 plus 1 is 4. Similarly, 2 squared is 4. So, 44. Then, Next number, which is the uh, next smallest number that is there, 41. Again, if you have 41, what are they doing? To the tens digit, right, they are adding 1. That is 4 plus 1, that is equal to 5. To the units digit, they are squaring it. 1 squared, which is 1. So, 51. That is what is coming here. So, this is the pattern that they have followed. And finally, they have got this arrangement. Okay. So, that is where, uh, that is why uh, you are not able to see the same numbers. Whatever is there in the input, all the numbers have changed because of this logic that they have used okay this question is a tricky one definitely a tricky one now if you look at how the words have been arranged what they are doing is first they take out the word which starts with a vowel and which will come first in the alphabetical order that is brought to the leftmost end in the next step they are taking out the word which starts with a consonant and which will come first in the alphabetical order that is car that is taken in the next step. In the third step, again, the word that starts with a vowel, which will again come next in the alphabetical order. Already I have taken angle. The next word that starts with a vowel, which will come in the alphabetical order is east. So that is coming here. Then again, next we are taking the word, which will start with a consonant, which will come next in the alphabetical order. Next to car, lamp has to come. Correct? Car is there. Then the next one that will come in the alphabetical order, which starts with a consonant is lamp. So that is the pattern that is used for the 
words. When you come to the numbers, the pattern that they have used is this. See, you have they are arranging the numbers like they are taking the numbers one by one in the ascending order. I have just written it here like this so that it's clear to you. So they are taking the smallest number in this group that is 13. Now 13 what are they doing? The first the tenth digit right one that is the tenth digit plus one. That is what you get as the tenth digit in the step okay and the units digit squared that is nine. So here 29 that is what is coming in the place of 13. Next one next one that you take is going to be 40, 32 correct because that is the next smallest number in the next step that is for step 2 you will be considering this 32 so 3 plus 1 is 4 similarly 2 squared is 4 so 44 that is the uh, logic that is being used okay so I hope it is clear so this is the input that is given to you so you have to write down the steps for this given input and there are five questions that follow this so let us now since I hope most of you have understood the logic let us try to write down the steps for this uh, given set of input and we will answer the questions that follow but one thing that you can do to cut down time is to uh, let us say for not for this particular question there are since some questions you would actually not have to uh, depending on the logic okay this uh, specifically depends on the logic that is used for the question uh, in many questions you will not have to write down all the steps to find out the answers for the subsequent questions right sometimes once you get the pattern itself once you are no, once you know that this is the pattern by looking at the question itself you will be able to arrive at the answer okay that depends on questions so uh, uh, if you guys have not attended like the previous uh, live sessions no on reasoning refresher i think in the last uh, two two or three live sessions we have been doing uh, questions on machine input output so refer back to those if you see actually in some of those questions uh, some of these tricks that i say no by just by uh, knowing what the pattern that is being used is and uh, just by looking comparing it with the questions you will be able to arrive at the answer okay for this particular question yes it is going to take a bit of a time because you have because of these numbers right especially these numbers the logic that they have used is very difficult so without writing down the arrangement you will not be able to answer the questions that follow okay yes so let us uh, try this out and what happens is most of the questions are based on each step what will be the position of each element questions of these sort this particular machine input output is a bit difficult one but uh, i think last week the question was much more easier so please refer back to that also right we would have discussed some shortcuts there as well okay so now let us try out this one again here one uh, small thing that you can do is see note down what are the vowels what are the consonants okay here what are the um, first i'm going to instead of i mean i'm going to write i'm going to be writing all the steps here right now i don't want to waste so much time writing all these uh, full full words and wasting my time so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to see what are the words that start with vowels and what are the words that start with consonant so the here i have m a word which starts with m a word which starts with G, a word which starts with O, I, R and E. Out of these, which are the vowels E, I, O and these are in the alphabetical order, correct? E followed by I followed by O. Then I have G. When you look at the consonants, I'll have the word that starts with G, which will come first in the alphabetical order, followed by the word that will start with M, followed by R. So just write it down here like this so that it is easier for you to get the steps. These are small things that you can use I mean small small uh, shortcuts that you can use. Now look at the numbers that is there. Now what are the numbers that you have here? You have 12, 62, 32, 81, 52 and 21. Now I am going to arrange these numbers in the ascending order. So what do I get? 12, then I have 21, then I have 32, then I have uh, 32, then 52. 62 and 81 okay let me note that there so what is going to be my step one here my step one is i have to bring out the vowel okay the word which starts with the vowel and which will come first in the alphabetical order so that is going to be the word that starts with e then i have this m g again 12 is the smallest number so that also i am going to use then you will have o 62 32 i 81 you have r 52 21 and here what will you have instead of 12 how will you take 12 as 1 plus 1 is 2 2 squared is 4 correct so you will have 24 here now what is going to be your step 2 step 2 will be I will have to take the word that starts with the consonant so I will have this G here and 
E here and which is the number that I am going to use the number that I am going to use is 21 just keep that in mind so I will have here G E M O 62 32 I 81 R 52 24 this 21 I am using here no what will 21 become 21 will become uh, 2 plus 1 is 3 1 squared is 1 it will become 31 so do it this way okay now next step 3 uh, how, what will step 3 become 24 and 31 so step 3 will be the word that starts with the vowel so I have used vowel consonant next vowel would should be the word that starts with I and what is the number that I am going to use here I am going to use 32 what okay 32 I am going to use keep that in mind so I will have I G E M O 62 uh, I I have used 32 I am going to use 81 R 53 24 31 and what will 32 become 3 uh, 3 plus 1 that is 4 3 will become 4 and this will become 4 so I will have 44 here now what is going to be step 4 step 4 is going to be again what will be the next uh, word that will come in the beginning M that is the consonant right the word that starts with the consonant so I will have M and the number that I am going to be using is 52 so I have M I G E O uh, 62 81 R 24 31 44 what will 52 become 64 it will become 64 now step 5 step 5 what will come in the beginning the word that starts with O and the number that I am going to use is 62 so O I G E 81 R 24 31, 44, 64, uh, 62 is going to become 74, 74, so your step 6, that is going to be your last step, yes, we will start with R, R, O, I, G, E, I am going to use 81, 24, 31, 44, 64, 74, 81 will become 8 plus 1, 9, 91, so this is your final arrangement, correct? I forgot to write this M here, no? Yeah. R O M I G E 24, uh, 31, 44, 64, 74, 91. So, this is your final arrangement. Yes. Correct. So, one small shortcut that you can use is don't write the full wordings here. If you are required to write all the steps, the other thing that you can do is uh, try to write down the vowels. If you know the pattern, try to write down the words that start with the vowels and the consonants separately. So, that if you keep ticking like this, you will not miss anything. Yeah, I missed them. I have corrected that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, let us look at this question. How many elements are there between India and 24 in step 5? So, in step 5, how many elements are there between India and 24? So, where is India? India is here. Where is 24? 24 is here. How many elements are there between India and 24 in step 5? There are 4 elements. What is the position of rural in the last but one step? So, what is the position of rural? Position of rural in the last but one step is here, correct? So, from the left hand side, 1, 2, 3, 4, um, last but one step, correct? Yeah. So, 6th from the left end, 6th from the right end, 5th uh, from the right end and so on. So, the word rural, uh, is it 6th from the left end, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, no. Uh, sixth from the right end. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, R is sixth from the right end. So the correct answer here is option B. Some of you gave me the answer as option uh, C. Please check it is option B. Position of rural. Rural is the word that starts with R. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, it is not sixth from the left end. Look from the right end. One, two, three, four, five, six. It is sixth from the right end. So a lot of you uh, gave me the wrong answer. Please check. Next, in which step are the elements good, east, open, 62 found in the same order? So, the correct answer for, for that would be step 4. In step 4, all these are found in the same order. G, E, O, where is step 4? G, E, O, 62, correct? So, that is step 4. Which of the following elements comes exactly between open and 32 in step 2? Between open and 32, you have 62. Correct answer is option C.
okay see again if you uh, if you have already got the logic and you can see the question directly right see since i am doing it in class i am taking it in the next page so if such question come this question you can answer very easily even if you have not written down all the steps you don't have time let's say this is the last question that you are attempting from reasoning okay and you are going through the question you understand the logic skim through the sub questions that are given now look at this question this question is asking you something about step 2 so to get the answer for this question you need to solve only till step 2 so you can very well do that mark that answer by then might be time gets over or you want to move to the next question you can do that right so many times that happens uh, if you that that varies from question to question in this particular question lot of stuff are asked towards the end of the arrangement sometimes questions come from the first one or two steps in that case you can attempt those questions alone and then move on to the next also okay again as i say choose your questions wisely if you are able to arrive at the logic then please attempt such questions on machine input output if first 30 40 seconds once you skim through the question itself you will get an idea if you are getting that do it otherwise don't do it